been one year since Hurricane Harvey slammed into the Gulf Coast as a Category 4 hurricane and dropped 51 inches of rain in Houston. Streets, subdivisions, and highways turned into rivers. Councilmember Amanda Edwards spoke candidly to HTV News about her own experiences during the storm regarding the devastation left behind by Harvey. You know, it's hard to believe that it's been a full year and I remember back when Harvey hit and in looking at the devastation that was taking place, it was very surreal. Um, but in, immediately you started getting into survival mode, making sure that people were getting picked up, they're safe, they have goods when they're getting to the convention center, um, making sure that emergency response was being provided. Oh, that all flooded. They got hit hard. Mayor Sylvester Turner, Chief of Police Art Acevedo and Fire Chief Sam Pena worked around the clock with first responders to be able to give folks updates on television with two daily news conferences at the Office of Emergency Management. If you're living in houses with, with water, you have water currently in your home, I'm going to encourage you in the strongest of terms to leave your homes. If there's water in your home, taking those pictures, making sure you're documenting what's taking place in your home, rely on uh, the mayor, uh, Judge Ed Emmett, in terms of news sources. HTV interviewed Councilmember Edwards on Saturday before the torrential rains came down. Here's a clip which was recorded by HTV News last year. Um, even though the rainfall may have lightened up and might even just have stopped entirely in your particular area, what we don't want, cars stranded out just like that one and putting not only those in individuals and residents at risk, but also our emergency pre prepare teams at risk as well when we have to come out and make sure uh, that we rescue those uh, Houstonians. It was very difficult to watch hundreds of thousands of people wading through six feet of water carrying as much as they could, including their kids, pets, and dry clothes. Uh, those manholes that had come uncovered, things like that when people are walking through water, can't see, they don't know where they're walking, not knowing how much risk people were facing, not knowing how many lives at that point was, were even going to be lost. Boats went through subdivisions which were completely underwater. The purpose was to save senior citizens and young families who looked petrified. Once the damage was done, folks returned to their homes to find a huge mess. Sheetrock and flooring had to be replaced. Wires were exposed and all of the wet furniture had to be thrown out in the front yard. It was like a sea of trash, unseen before. Councilmember Amanda Edwards said she immediately shifted into rescue mode and the community joined in. Volunteers set up camp near downtown Houston to cook barbecue and feed Harvey victims a nice warm meal. That was the state of immediate response that we were in, just kind of on that immediate uh, immediate need to respond to people and make sure that they were surviving. According to a report released by the Harris County Flood Control District, the total estimated damage of Hurricane Harvey was $125 billion. What we're doing right now is calling attention, a, a, a call to action with regard to the federal government, our state government, for additional funding. We have been working so far just to kind of give you a sense of what's been going on from a funding perspective. A lot of residents have had to rely on the National Flood Insurance Program, FEMA, uh, their own personal reserves if they had that. Um, also nonprofits, philanthropic community, the nonprofit sector. It's a combination of sources that people have had to figure it out and rely upon to try to start rebuilding their lives and their homes. Edwards added, we need to make noise and let our voices be heard all the way to Washington, D.C. Councilmember Edwards had compelling closing remarks regarding the fight to help residents who still haven't fully recovered, also to prove they are not forgotten. God be with you. God be with God you be as with well, you. okay? Thank you. I'm hanging in there. You hanging in there? Hey, man. We're going to be getting monies down to Houston, but none of the federal dollars for 
flood mitigation projects or for housing projects have actually arrived yet. So we have some allocations that are going to be here, but they haven't arrived and the needs still exist right now. And so we've got to think about when recovery happens, whatever city happens, happens to have a situation happen like this in the future, taking this type of time to have funding come down and made available doesn't really meet the need of the residents. So I just really plead that we keep our residents at the forefront of this issue and their needs and making sure that we're doing all that is physically, mentally, emotionally, anything, just any type of possibility. We are extending that those efforts to make sure that we're meeting their needs because we cannot have people have Harvey be the marker for a downward spiral in their life that continues on. Mariano Yaguren, HTV News.